How will today be holy? Welcome to Rise Up, Father Jonathan Meyer today. Today is called Holy Saturday. And tonight, of course, we'll celebrate the Easter Vigil after dark. And I want to encourage you to make today holy. The word holy, sanctus in Latin. Sanctus, sanctus, sanctus dominus. Holy, holy, holy Lord. Sanctus means separated, set apart, consecrated. How will today be holy? How will today be separated? How will today be set apart? It is such a powerful day. Why is today a powerful day? Well, I... I'm so blessed. I think this is year four for Rise Up. I could be totally wrong, but I think this is our fourth time doing this. And every Holy Saturday, I read an ancient homily from an unknown author. This is from the text from the Liturgy of the Hours. Uh, we pray the Liturgy of the Hours specifically during the Triduum, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Holy Saturday. Com communally, we're praying those at St. Teresa Bench of the Cross. This is the second reading from the Liturgy of the Hours. So for those of you who pray the Liturgy of the Hours, praise the Lord. But this is one of the reasons why today is holy, why it is sanctified. So just, I'm just going to let this speak. Something strange is happening. There is a great silence on earth today, a great silence and a stillness. The whole earth keeps silence because the king is asleep. The earth trembled and all is still because God has fallen asleep in the flesh and he has raised up all who have slept ever since the world began. God has died in the flesh, and hell trembles with fear. He has gone in search of our first parents, as for a lost sheep, <coughs> greatly desiring to visit those who live in the darkness of sin and the shadow of death. He's gone to free from sorrow the captives out of an Eve, he who is both God and the son of Eve. The Lord approached them, bearing the cross, the weapon that had won him the victory. At the sight of him, Adam, the first man he had created, struck his breast in terror and cried out to everyone, My Lord be with you all. Christ answered him, With your spirit. He took him by the hand and raised him up, saying, Awake, O sleeper, and rise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. I am your God who for your sake have become your son. Out of love for you and for your descendants, I now by my own authority command all who are held in bondage to come forth, all who are in darkness to be enlightened, and all who are sleeping to arise. I order you, O sleeper, to awake. I did not create you to be held in prison, in hell. Rise from the dead, for I am the life of the dead. Rise up, work of your hands. You who were created in my image, rise, let us leave this place. For you are in me and I am in you. Together we form only one person and we cannot be separated. For your sake, I, your God, became your son. I, the Lord, took the form of a slave. I, whose home is above the heavens, descended to the earth and beneath the earth. For your sake, for the sake of man, I became like a man without help free among the dead. For the sake of you who left a garden, I was betrayed to the Jews in a garden, and I was crucified in a garden. See on my face the spittle I received in order to restore to you the life once I breathed into you. See there the marks of the blows I received in order to refashion your warped nature in my image. On my back, See the marks of the scourging I endured to remove the burden of sin that weighed upon your back. See my hands nailed firmly to a tree? For you who were once wickedly stretched out your hands to a tree, I slept on the cross and a sword pierced my side. For you who slept in paradise and brought forth Eve from your side. My side was, has healed the pain in yours. My sleep will rouse you from sleep and hell. The sword that pierced me has sheathed the sword that was turned against you. Rise, let us leave this place. The enemy led you out of the earthly paradise. 
I will not restore you to that paradise, but I will enthrone you in heaven. I forbade you the tree that was only a symbol of life, but see, I who am life itself am now one with you. I appointed cherubim to guard you as slaves are guarded, but now I make them worship you as God. The throne formed by the cherubim awaits you. Its bearers, swift and eager, the bridal chamber is adorned, the banquet is ready, the eternal dwelling places are prepared, the treasure house of all good things lie open, the kingdom of heaven has been prepared for you from all eternity. Allow today this day that is holy, this day that is set apart, to keep your minds on our Lord who descended into the dead, who descended into the abode of our ancestors, into Sheol, to bring with them to the glories of heaven. I always encourage people on Holy Thursday, I'm sorry, on Holy Saturday, on Easter Sunday, to go to visit the deceased relatives and friends that live nearby them. To go to a cemetery, to pray. Decorate the graves of your ancestors, your friends. To pray for them. That as Adam rose, as Eve rose, that they were brought to eternal life, that we have hope. That those who believe in the Lord, those who have seen the Lord, those who have eaten the Lord, those who have dined with him, may have eternal life. Keep your eyes focused on the Lord today. Live differently today. And may God bless you this Easter season. Amen. Amen.